what is a homosexual? So <clears throat> a homosexual is an individual, typically a man, who moves in with a woman for the purpose of having somewhere to live and not to be homeless. So the goal is to not to be homeless. The goal is not for a, homose a homosexual to go and get a job to make sure he or she has a place. The goal is just not to be homeless in the moment. So that means that's seasonal for them, that's uh, momentary for them, it's temporary for them, and they are fine moving uh, between houses and between people and between couches and between, you know, outside at, at, at times, sometimes in a shelter. But they, but their goal is to basically not be homeless. Well, that's, that really should be everybody's goal if you are a grown adult. But if you are perpetuating that for so long and you're not doing anything about it during the warmer months, I mean, yeah, during the uh, cooler uh, and um, hotter months, okay, and then you wait all the way to the cold weather comes along and so you're not homeless again, to, to, you, you you seek someone uh, to live with so you're not homeless again, that means you have no other aim but just not to be homeless. Homosexual can also be a woman who chooses a friend or a relationship to seek shelter and resources. So we've all had, we've all had, as women, we've all been exposed to a friend or a man. We've all been exposed to a male friend. They just kind of move from place to place. They, they always need some couch to lay on. And they claim sometimes they blind us into thinking that they don't need help somehow. What they do is they will um, do this thing. They will stay at your house all the way till about 9 or 10, sometimes 11 or 12, and say, man, I'm kind of tired to drive uh, um, uh, or, or catch the bus. Man, can I sleep on your couch just, you know, you know, tonight, right? And they'll do that. And the goal is to move in little by little. I had a guy who I didn't even realize he was a homosexual. I literally, honestly did not. I had my own place. And it seemed like to him that he was roommating with someone. And so I just assumed that when he spent all his time in my place, that he just wanted to spend time with me. No, that, that was not the case. What it is, he started moving in little by little. And I didn't notice it at the beginning. Like he would leave a sock behind or he would leave some clothes behind or something like that. And the, and the goal is to say, yeah, I get it. When I come back, they start changing clothes at your house. They start taking showers at your house. And if you're in a romantic relationship, you really don't see anything uh, with it because then at the same time, you're getting sex from the person. And so that blinds you to the reality of that person actually being a homosexual in your life. But a woman can do the exact same thing. If she, if she was coddled and babied by her own mother or father, uh, she's going to look for another person to do exactly what her mother and father uh, did. When I was in a shelter for a short time during the financial recession, there was this young lady, a sweet girl, uh, and um, she was she was definitely younger than me. She was about 19, maybe 19, 20. I don't know. And so she was um, she was in the shelter. Um, um, she had left her parents' house, got an apartment with someone. It didn't work out, and then she ended up going to the shelter. And um, when she did that, uh, I noticed that there were some uh, aspects of herself that she sort of didn't understand or, or whatever. And uh, but she was kind of needy. She was clingy. She was a, a person who wanted to be around you all the time. And that tells me that the mother. Um, likely coddled her, but it was the father who told the mother that she had to go. And so that's why she was actually out. And if she didn't look like the type of person who caused a bunch of trouble or something like that, she just kind of seemed like the type of person um, who just didn't have any aim at that time, who was just kind of struggling to find her own way. And we have all done it. If we didn't plan our way in our high school years, like try to go to college, go to the military, um, you know, get a job or, or something like that, we're going to wander aimlessly uh, around for a good number of years. We got to attach ourselves attach ourselves to something to begin to um, really live life in a very conscious way. And so uh, there were times when I would take her along with me 
because I was trying to make money and I was doing freelance writing at the time when everyone was trying to set up their websites and they needed content and I was writing that content. And, uh, and I would take her loan and then there were times, and, and then when I took her loan, she just didn't seem like she wanted to, here it is, she got access to a computer for the first time because I would take her to the library, to university library, where I could do my work because I didn't have a computer, I think. I, I had to pawn it. And she just, here it is, you have access to a computer for the first time uh, and you're not doing anything and you're bored. What she wanted to do was go to the movies, she wanted to do the the um, sort of like entertaining part of life. But you don't understand that you are a grown adult now. You need to begin making decisions for yourself. You can't live in a shelter forever in the same way that I said to myself. And um, that was, and prior to that, I had always had my own place. I didn't have a problem with that. It's just that I lost my job. We were in a financial recession, um, dealing with family, you know, and, um, it was one of those things that I had to kind of really quickly understand. And so a lot of times when you find a woman who is a homosexual squatter or homosexual at this time, she she is usually the type of person who was babied by somebody. And she was really groomed to marry right out of um, out of her parents' house. She, not, she wasn't necessarily groomed to actually uh, have a job and and go to college or something like that. She was groomed really to be a wife to someone, but whoever she got with, it didn't work out. And so um, when you have a friend or relationship, um, a lot of times, if they spend a lot of time at your house, they're always taking showers at your house and um, running up your light bill and all that kind of stuff. That's usually, I would really take note of that person to see if they actually have a place to live. So homosexuals are akin to squatters with one exception. A squatter, by definition, is a person who unlawfully occupies an uninhabited building or unused land. So we have, we've been uh, seeing lately, um, like in the news, a lot of um, squatters moving into abandoned buildings, moving into apartments where the people, where the renters are out of town on vacation, and they have to call the police on them. We just been seeing a lot of this lately. And what I think that is, is that some of these people who are homeless, they're tired. They're tired of living on the street, but they don't know how, to, but they don't want to go the long way around to do what they need to do. Like go into the shelter, um, talk to a caseworker, get your name on the list, maybe get into one of the programs, right? To secure you some housing for at least 18 months and then transition after that. They don't want to do that. They want they want uh, immediate housing. And what I say with people who who um, who end up homeless like like double digit years, they waited too long. It's not like they cannot change and go and get a, a place to live because you see that too. You see a lot of people who have been homeless for years and now they are moving into like tiny homes or something like that because at the time as time goes on, you get tired of that life. You get tired of laying on the concrete and, and having to worry about who's going to touch you and whether or not someone is going to uh, commit violence. And then you just get tired of the elements. You get tired of the weather. And so I think with that, uh, people who are homeless, they tend to wait too long. If you're homeless 25 years, I read a article, The Guardian on this and he was homeless for 25 years now he ended up getting a place but if you're homeless for 25 years that's too long you waited too long to get yourself together um so the squatter by definition is someone who unlawfully occupies right they don't have permission they can be unused land so like you have this big big ranch goes on for miles right and one part of that uh ranch you can't see with with your naked eye so it's easy even if you put up no trespassing signs and things like that it's easy for someone to find a way to camp on that site without you knowing it unless you have roving uh um police officers or security or something like that it's easy to do but if they stay on your land for so so many um so much time according to state law for squatting 
they have rights. They definitely have rights. It'll be hard to evict them. So that's why you have to always be mindful of even the property that you have. However, a woman or man can permit a homosexual to squat in their homes. The person may become a squatter under the legal definition after he or she is asked to leave but refuses to leave. When legal reasons exist, the person is no longer a homosexual. The person is a squatter. So let's look at this. Homosexuals are permitted into your home because you open the door to permit them. But when you are going through this process of trying, um, you've made the decision to try to get them out for good, and you're even going to the courthouses and things like that, then, um, and the judge says, well, did he pay you some money? Did he give you something or whatever? Yes, I took it. Okay, then he he can stay. He can still stay. Um the process will have to go under the appeal, things like that. And so now he becomes a squatter in your life, in your house. It's hard to get him out. The person can bring somebody else in your house. And the thing is, what ends up happening if the landlord or rental office finds out that you have that person in the house, you can actually be evicted. But then if there is some sort of legal issue with the squatter in the house, the squatter could make a make a case that he's supposed to be there. So it gets very messy legally. That's why it's better just to let grown people take care of grown people. 